Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Did you know that the now disabled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, which suffered major damage in 2011 due to an earthquake and tsunami, consists of six boiling water reactors? In the previous video, we talked about the working of nuclear reactors. In this video, we'll talk about boiling water reactors. Nuclear reactors can be classified based on the type of nuclear reaction, type of moderator, type of coolant, etc. Based on the types of coolant, nuclear reactors can be of various types, like the boiling water reactor the pressurized water reactor, the liquid metal cooled reactor, the gas cooled reactor and the molten salt reactor. Let's see in detail about the boiling water reactors in this video. Boiling water reactors are different because they produce the steam directly in the reactor core while reactors like pressurized water reactors have a steam generator to produce steam from the nuclear reactor's heat. Let's see how a boiling water reactor works. The steam, which drives the turbine, gets cooled in the condenser and is converted into water. This water, also called feed water, is then sent into the reactor pressure vessel through nozzles. As the reactor core is at a very high temperature, the water surrounding the core gets heated and creates a thermal head, which is just a temperature difference between the two points. The thermal head assists in recirculating the water inside the reactor pressure vessel. Since water at high temperature will be less dense, it will displace the colder water and essentially acts as a pump. Using this, a boiling water reactor can be designed to circulate the water on its own without any need for a recirculating pump. Now coming back, the heat from the reactor turns water directly into steam. But a turbine cannot use the steam since it may have moisture content and hence can cause corrosion. Thus, a moisture separator is installed at the top of the vessel. The steam is separated from water and goes to the dryer after which it drives the turbine. On the other hand, the water separated is sent back to the feed water. Controlling the nuclear reaction in a boiling water reactor can be done in two ways. By using the control rods or by controlling the flow of water. When the control rods are used, they can increase or decrease the reaction rate based on their position. To increase the reaction rate, the control rods are withdrawn while to decrease the rate, the control rods are inserted into the core. When the flow of water is used to control the reaction rate, it can be used to vary the power from 30% to 100%. When the water flow to the reactor core increases, the bubbles formed due to heat are taken away quickly. This makes more room for the water. Now, since water is a neutron moderator, it slows down more neutrons that has to be absorbed by the fuel. This increases the rate of the reaction. But when the water flow to the reactor core decreases, the bubbles stay for a longer time decreasing the amount of liquid water in the core. This decreases the rate of the reaction. Well, that's all about the working of a boiling water reactor. One interesting thing about the boiling water reactor is that the water used serves a triple purpose of being a coolant, a moderator and a working fluid. Now let's discuss some advantages of a boiling water reactor. The operation of a boiling water reactor takes place at a lower pressure as compared to a pressurized water reactor. Secondly, there is no use of a pressurizer or steam generator. Therefore, the operation becomes simpler and the size smaller. The water level should be measured to assess the emergency condition. Since a boiling water reactor requires measuring of water level even in normal operation, the possibility of accidents are reduced. While there are advantages to boiling water reactors, there are also some disadvantages. First of all, the boiling water reactor works in a two-phase fluid flow. That means both water and steam are present. This makes the instrumentation and calculations a bit more complex. Secondly, the boiling water reactor operates at lower pressure and temperature, thus giving a low thermodynamic efficiency. Thirdly, since the steam to the turbine enters directly from the reactor core, it is exposed to radiation as well. Therefore, the shielding is provided to the turbine. Despite having such disadvantages, the boiling water reactors are the second most common type of nuclear reactors after the pressurized water reactor. Well, that's all about the working, components, advantages and disadvantages of boiling water reactors. Stay tuned for more and until next time, goodbye.